Hello everyone, welcome back again. And for this video guys, is I will share you kung ano ang mga requirements and qualifications sa pag-apply bilang isang technical and foreign trainee dito sa Japan. Kunting disclaimer lang po, I'm not a sponsored by agency, agent, or recruiter. Ako po ay isang produkto lamang ng Golden Gateway International Manpower Services. Ano po ba ang mga requirements sa pag-apply? This is only the initial and requirements. It means the early phase requirements. Kailangang number one, passport holder na po kayo. Number two, local birth certificate. Number three, NSO birth certificate. Number four, NSO Senomar for single status. Number five, NSO marriage contract for marriage status. Number six, CAV form. CAV form means the certification, authentication, verification. For the process, if you are a college graduate, go to CHED. If you are a high school graduate, go to DepEd. If you are a vocational graduate, go to TESTA. Number seven is the Certificate of Employment. Company Certificate. Number 8, Company Endorsement Letter. Number 9 is the Resume. Yan po ay ang mga initial, inter initial requirements sa pag-apply. Qualifications. May age limit po ba? Sa alam ko lang guys, 20 to 35 years old, technical intern trainee. Pwede po ba yung may tato? Depende sa company or sa skills na papasukan nyo or pag-applyan nyo. With or without experience, depende. Pero mas maganda pag meron kayo experience, guys. So pag meron pa kayong mga tanong, guys, just comment down below. At sasagutin ko yan, guys, hanggang sa aking makakaya. So that's all. I hope it will be helpful. So see you, guys. Bye!